So in this another article we have from Foreign Affairs. This is the article by Shiv Shankar Menon, our former National Security Advisor. रह चुके हैं तो आर्टिकल का टाइटल देखिए क्या बात करता है द वर्च्यूज ऑफ रिस्ट्रेंट बड़ी सिंपल सी बात और पंचलाइन में बड़ा क्लासिक सी बात उन्होंने एक लिखी है कि वाई द यूज ऑफ फोर्स इज रेयरली अ सफिशियंट रिस्पॉन्स टू टेररिज्म कि टेररिज्म के प्रति यूज ऑफ फोर्स हमेशा एक सफिशियंट रिस्पॉन्स नहीं होता तभी उन्होंने आर्टिकल के टाइटल में पॉजिटिव बात लिखी है रिस्ट्रेंट के वर्च्यूज के बारे में कि रिस्ट्रेंट अगर आप बरतोगे तो क्या होगा उससे और क्यों यूज ऑफ द फोर्स हर बार एक सफिशिएंट रिस्पांस नहीं है टेररिज्म के खिलाफ और जैसे मैंने कहा कि खुद फॉर्मर नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एडवाइजर रहे हैं दो से लेकर और दो तक तो इंडिया में होने वाले बहुत हीनियस टेरर अटैक्स के दौरान थे वो नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एडवाइजर तो वो जानते भी हैं बहुत अच्छे से बहुत एक इंसाइटफुल आर्टिकल होने वाला है कि क्यों टेररिज्म के सामने यूज ऑफ द फोर्स हर बार काम नहीं आता आफ्टर हमास हॉरिफिक टेररिस्ट अटैक ऑन इसराइल ऑन अक्टूबर सेवन इट सीम्ड इनेविटेबल इसराइल वुड रिटेलिएट इन डिवेस्टेटिंग फैशन द फर्स्ट नेचुरल रिएक्शन टू सच एन अटैक इज रिवल्शन अकंपनीड बाय अ डिजायर फॉर रिवेंज एंड एग्जेम्पलरी पनिशमेंट होता भी है वाकई इसराइली प्राइम मिनिस्टर बेनेमिन नेतन याहू एक्टेड ऑन दैट डिजायर वोइंग टू डिस्ट्रॉय हमास बॉम्बार्डिंग द गाजा स्ट्रिप and launching a ground invasion of the territory even though it remains unclear ki how if at all israel can eliminate hamas militarily or ideologically itna sab karne ke bawajood bhi kehte hain abhi thoda sa ye pata nahi hai ki israel kaise unhe militarily haraega aur ideologically us soch ko khatam kare but choosing to meet violence with violence is a choice In fact, not all victims of terrorism choose retaliation. हर कोई retaliation choose नहीं करता क्यों On November 26, 2008, 10 Pakistani terrorists stealthily landed by sea in Mumbai. The carnage they unleashed over the next two days in attacks on hotels, cafes, a major train station, and a community center. killed at least 174 people and injured over 300 indian authorities no doubt swiftly realized that the terrorist came from pakistan and enjoyed the backing of the country's security establishment i served as foreign secretary in the indian government at the time and my first reaction was to press for strong retaliatory action against our neighbor for such a brazen and cowardly attack but after deliberations in which it weighed the likely outcomes and broader effects of various courses of action prime minister manmohan singh's government ultimately opted not to undertake an overt military strike on terrorist camps in pakistan instead kya kiya क्या फिर एक्शन लिया न्यू दिल्ली रिस्पॉन्डेड टू द टेररिस्ट एट्रोसिटी इन मुंबई थ्रू डिप्लोमैटिक एंड कोवर्ड चैनल्स इन पब्लिक द कंट्री चूज रिस्ट्रेंट नॉट रिवेंज एंड दैट डिसीजन ब्रॉड इंडिया इंटरनेशनल सपोर्ट prevented a potentially catastrophic war minimized civilian casualties and arguably prevented more terrorism at least so far india has not experienced another pakistani backed attack with mass casualties on indian soil from that time india and israel are of course two very different countries and pakistan and gaza are not equivalent either different context shape a state's response to a terrorist attack in different circumstances in 2016 and 2019 when faced with cross border terrorist incidents 
2016 में भी हुआ उरी का हमला 19 में भी हुआ पुलवामा अटैक India chose to retaliate militarily against clearly defined targets in Pakistan but the Indian experience is a powerful reminder of the limitations of dealing with terrorism as a purely military problem requiring a military response and as Israel levels parts of Gaza today sowing the seeds for future hatred it is instructive to consider the benefits of not replying to terrorist violence with greater violence thoda sa author ne pehle hame israel aur india ke comparison karke ye dikha diya ki what did we choose fir uske baad humne jab choose kiya military uh, military response to bhi usne bata diya aur ab wo uske thode se fayde batayenge ki agar terrorist violence ka jawab aap greater violence se na do to fayde kya hai The mythographer Joseph Campbell retold a Japanese folk tale that follows the quest of a samurai intent on avenging his slain master. उसको लगा था कि बस जो उसके गुरु के साथ हुआ तो अब बदला लेना है. After hunting down his master's killer, samurai was preparing to decapitate him when the assassin spat in his face. The samurai immediately sheathed his sword and walked away. His master had taught him never to act out of blind anger, because retribution should be exacted from an objective, righteous distance, not from blind anger. Campbell's tale illuminates one possible response to terror, and that is restraint. कि अगर वो एक टाइम आप निकाल लो एट दैट वेरी मोमेंट अगर आप एक बार निकाल लो उसके बाद में आप सोच समझ के ज्यादा बेटर प्लान कर सकते हो अपने एनिमी को गिराने का लेट मी बी वेरी क्लियर इफ यू आर हैविंग दिस ओपिनियन कि जवाब उसका सेम ही देना चाहिए जैसा है वी आर नॉट डिनाइंग इट शिव शंकर मैनन इज नॉट टीचिंग अस द कोवर्डली प्रैक्टिस ऑफ नॉट रिप्लाइंग टू समबडी इज वायलेंस विद वायलेंस ही इज नॉट सेइंग दैट व्हाट ही इज सेइंग इज वेट फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर मोमेंट क्योंकि अगर आप थोड़ा सा प्लान करके करोगे बाद में यू कैन इन्फ्लिक्ट अ ग्रेटर डैमेज टू दैट कॉज रादर देन कि आप उसी सेकंड करने की बजाय वो किसी ने सही कहा है वन मस्ट बी रिस्पोंसिव नॉट रिएक्टिव इट्स समथिंग लाइक दैट So after the terrorist attack on Mumbai in 2008 India reasoned that a military strike was unlikely to solve the problem of cross border terrorism emanating from Pakistan jabki it would divert international sympathy from the Indian terror victims suggesting that the affair was a quarrel between India and Pakistan in which both states were made equivalent par India ne aisa hone nahi diya and it would give the terrorist and their sponsors precisely what they had hoped the attack would yield an angry divided india and possibly even a war par aap dekho ki wo jo chahte the humne unko kuch bhi nahi diya aur international support bhi humne apni taraf hi gain ki restraint no doubt appeared to be the least bad of india's available choices there were cost क्योंकि मैनी ऑफ द अटैक्स हाई लेवल स्पॉन्सर इन द पाकिस्तान आर्मी एंड इन द लीडरशिप ऑफ द एंटी इंडियन मिलिटेंट ग्रुप लश्कर तयबा विच वॉज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द वायलेंस एस्केप्ड रेट्रीब्यूशन सो टू बी श्योर इंडिया इज नॉट अ पैसिफिस्ट पावर एंड इन अदर केसेस इट हैज रिस्पॉन्डेड टू टेररिस्ट वायलेंस विद फोर्स because when terrorists sponsored by pakistan attacked an indian army camp at uri in 2016 and a security convoy in 2019 at lathpora india chose to retaliate across the line militarily hitting the terrorist launching pads and bases after entering their territory neither retaliatory action had a huge effect on suppressing cross border terrorism or eliminating its instigators and leaders ki aisa to hai nahi ki wo surgical strikes ke baad dekho humne puri tarah se jo hai us so called cause ko puri tarah se khatam kar diya par ha isme koi dorai nahi ki context alag tha 2016 aur 19 mein context bilkul alag tha uh, leadership ki soch alag thi and they chose the military action 
The goal of terrorist violence is often to throw a more powerful state off kilter and incite bloodshed. Terrorism ka main goal वैसे होता ही है कि chaos मचाना बस. History offers cautionary examples of terrorists successfully baiting powerful countries into strategic blunders. The Austro-Hungarian reaction to the murder of Archduke Franz Ferdinand led to World War I and the end of the Habsburg Empire. After the 9-11 attacks, United States chose to wage an unwinnable global war on terror, invading and getting bogged down in Afghanistan and Iraq. So one could argue that both countries and the wider region ended up in worse shape than they were to begin with. The war on terror birthed even more lethal terrorist groups such as the Islamic State and the high civilian death toll and the abuses committed by the United States military damaged the United States reputation in the world. So how a government decides to respond to terrorism is often complicated by domestic political factors and the public's desire for revenge. I have told you कि नो no डाउट जो है वो चूज करना रिस्ट्रेंट बहुत मुश्किल होता है कि 174 पीपल डाइड विद इन टू डेज एंड इवन देन द गवर्नमेंट चूजिंग दैट नॉट वी आर ऑप्शन दैट वी आर नॉट फॉलोइंग द ऑप्शन ऑफ रिवेंज बट वी आर फॉलोइंग द ऑप्शन ऑफ रिस्ट्रेंट लीडर्स हु प्राइड दमसेल्स ऑन देयर स्ट्रेंथ और दे आर नेशनलिस्ट क्रीडेंशियल्स टेंड टू पिक अप दैमर वो उठा ही लेते हैं बट टू रॉन्ग डो नॉट मेक अ राइट and history does not favor those who succumb to emotion and rely on military means to counter the threat of terror israel's actions against civilians in gaza and the ongoing violence in the west bank have already caused its sympathy around the world a hard purely military response is less likely to achieve israel's goal of eliminating hamas than a combination of military covert and political measures designed to fit the specific case but as you can see israel chose otherwise empirically speaking here most massive military responses to terrorist attacks have led to long wars unintended consequences and a net increase in the threat of terror kam nahi hua Shrilankan government's elimination of the secessionist Tamil Tigers as a military force in 2009 is often cited as an example of the successful use of force against a terrorist group. Aisa mana jata hai ki dekho force ka use karke ek terrorist group ko humne once and for all khatam kar diya. But this apparent victory displaced hundreds of thousands of people failed to resolve ethnic tensions and distorted the country's democratic processes aisi dikkatein jo aaj bhi sri lanka ko haunt kar rahi hain a military overreaction generates the oxygen of publicity that terrorists seek yahi to wo chare hote hain it helps to promote a terrorist group's claim to represent a disadvantaged population indeed one of hamas's motives in carrying out the october 7th attacks may well have been to create a situation in which palestinians most of whom did not previously support hamas are driven into its arms today by israel's punitive actions ho gaya na hamas ka goal pura basically ki that is what we wanted un logo ko bhi apni taraf kar liya jo pehle hamas ko support nahi bhi karte the so terrorism is political in motive and goal and it must be dealt with as such a strictly violent response agar aap karoge falls in line with israel's response to terror over decades a kaisi strategy it calls mowing the grass a euphemism for periodic punitive campaigns that suppress but do not eradicate terrorist activity agar eradicate ho jati to october 7 2023 ka attack dobara thodi hoti sirf suppress kar sakte ho aap ek bar ke liye usko daba sakte ho nip in the bud nahi hota the israeli scholar and military strategist itan shamir one of the authors of that phrase ki mowing the grass 
has now declared this tactic insufficient. Israeli deterrence has failed, he argues, and the country can only survive if it uproots Hamas from Gaza. So how this can be achieved without horrendous casualties and suffering for the civilians of Gaza is not clear. Ignoring the rights of the Palestinians and their desire for statehood is precisely what produced the region's present sorry state of affairs. In the first instance, you ignored the Palestinians' ke rights, ko ignore kiya tha, unke statehood ke adhikar ko ignore kiya tha, uski wajah se hi to aaj wo ilaka is story state of affairs mein pauncha hai. Israeli bombings, missile attacks and tank fires are most likely to push Gazans toward Hamas and other militant groups. Hamas's attack did not pose a political challenge to Israel alone. The West now can legitimately be accused of double standards and hypocrisy in its attitude toward foreign occupation and attacks on civilians in Ukraine and Palestine. Ki when it comes to Russia attacking Ukraine, then Russia is bad. And when it comes to Israel attacking innocent Palestinians, then the West is silent. Yehi author kehna cha rahe ki aaj West khud balki अपने डबल स्टैंडर्ड्स के लिए एक्यूज किया जा सकता है और आगे लिखा है एक लाइन में फॉर मेनी इन द ग्लोबल साउथ एंड सम इन द नॉर्थ इवन द रिफ्यूजल ऑफ वेस्टर्न पावर्स टू प्रेस फॉर अ सीज फायर और टू एड्रेस इजराइल्स अटैक्स ऑन सिविलियंस मेक्स अ मॉकरी ऑफ द वेस्ट अवोवेड कमिटमेंट टू द लॉज ऑफ वॉर एंड ह्यूमैनिटेरियन कंसीडरेशंस पूरी दुनिया में लोग ये रियलाइज कर रहे हैं कि वेस्ट जो कंसीडरेशन देता है इंडिविजुअलिज्म के बारे में या इंटरनेशनल लॉज ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी को रिस्पेक्ट करने के बारे में वो बिल्कुल फेक है और कुछ नहीं है फाइनली द सॉल्यूशन जो उन्होंने दिया है ओनली बाय डीलिंग विद टेररिज्म पॉलिटिकली और वो आप कैसे करोगे आइसोलेटिंग टेररिस्ट फ्रॉम द पॉपुलेशन दे परपोर्ट टू रिप्रेजेंट एंड ऑफरिंग अ बेटर ऑल्टरनेटिव यही है एक वे फॉरवर्ड बी फाउंड दैट एक्चुअली एलिमिनेट हमास इन इट्स करंट रिजेक्शनिस्ट एंड निहिलिस्ट फॉर्म इसराइल ऑन एक्सपीरियंस प्रूव दैट रिप्रेशन अलोन डज नॉट डिस्ट्रॉय अ टेररिस्ट थ्रेट द कंट्रोल्ड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फोर्स इज यूजफुल इसमें कोई दुराई नहीं इवन नेसेसरी कई बार टू गिव पॉलिटिक्स रूम टू वर्क If peace is the end goal, restraint opens the space for communication and negotiation. But a purely military response to terror weakens those for whom peace is the real goal. क्योंकि वो बचते ही नहीं। अगर peace is the real goal होता, तो purely military response आपको छोड़ता ही तो नहीं है at last. The calculus is, of course, further complicated when the terrorist is sponsored by a state. और स्टेट्स एंड ऐसे केसेस में द ऑलरेडी लिमिटेड यूटिलिटी ऑफ मैसिव फोर्स अगेंस्ट नॉन स्टेट एक्टर्स इज कंपाउंडेड बाय द इंप्यूनिटी दैट स्टेट प्रोटेक्शन गिव्स देम क्योंकि फिर तो कहीं ना कहीं पता होता है स्टेट्स को कि हम जो वायलेंस का यूज करने वाले हैं नॉन स्टेट एक्टर्स के खिलाफ वो खत्म होंगे ही नहीं क्योंकि स्टेट और हो सकता है एक से ज्यादा स्टेट्स उनको सपोर्ट कर रही हो इजराइल फिलिस्तीन वॉर इज वन सच सिनेरियो The whole world knows that Hezbollah and Houthi support Hamas and Israel still hopes to eliminate Hamas once and for all. How is this exactly possible? Why will Hamas be finished with Hamas's ideology? If they are finished with Hamas's leaders, there will be some other. Someone else will come. So, in this way, a government must craft an effective response, both military and political, to the state sponsors of terror. India has considerable experience in dealing with state sponsored terrorism and it has by and large contained the problem through a combination of military political social and other means internal and external to India kuch hat tak hum no doubt contain kar paaye none of this 
none of this of course guarantees any country complete freedom from terrorist attacks shiv shankar menon bilkul clear kar rahe hain is baat ko ki agar aap ye sare measures le bhi lete ho to ye koi guarantee nahi hai is baat ki ki ha aap dobara kabhi terrorist attacks nahi honge experience suggests that there is no perfect formulaic response to terrorism only less painful and more productive responses many israelis and palestinians are equally convinced that ki their victimhood justifies extreme and inhumane measures and the rest of the world feels compelled to choose sides either between israel or gaza the voices of those seeking peaceful outcomes by political means seem to be drowned out by those calling for revenge punishment and the use of indiscriminate force kyunki zyada log chillane wale ye hain peaceful outcomes kehne wale bahut kam hain but if there is a lesson to be drawn it is that ki governments need to understand the limitations of repression and force choosing it alone can only lead to further tragedy ki agar wo military responses ko hi choose karte rahenge the tragedies are not going to end but they are going to increase more so it's a very classic one we have the virtues of restraint aur ek former nsa apne khud ke self experience se dekhiye wo baat bol rahe hain with examples he has shown that how exactly ki agar aap force ka use karte ho तो वो टेररिज्म के लिए हमेशा एक सफिशियंट रिस्पांस नहीं होता दैट इज द आर्टिकल